In April 2015, I became the first ever Mayor of Derry City and Strabane District Council. It was a huge honour and privilege to have been selected by our party to represent this city in a new chapter in politics here in the city and district. Throughout that time, I met thousands of citizens of our great city, young and old alike. I was struck every day by the enthusiasm and the energy of the many people who I met during my term in office. One of the biggest assets that we have here in this city is undoubtedly its people. For our people represent us across the world with great dignity and compassion. The people of this city showcase this city day and daily. And we showcase this city in events such as St. Patrick's Day, Halloween, Clipper and indeed the flag. There's no doubt that the people are our assets. As a young girl, my awakening with political life was watching my family travel to England to visit my Aunt Martina in prison as a political prisoner. Armed soldiers on our streets and conflict all around. A pivotal point for me was the events of Gravaki Road which let us all know that many things had to change and that we needed to change the agenda. Still at school, I joined the then Sinn Féin Youth and became involved in local projects in the area in which I lived. As you can imagine, homework and political activity sometimes wasn't a great mix. I was elected to Derry City Council in 2005 and for the next 12 years, along with my colleagues, ensured that the citizens rights were at the fore of our council. Derry has demonstrated that we are a city of equals. I am a mother, along with my husband Declan, we have three young children, Dahi, Fekra and Malachi. Throughout my time in council, I have tried hard to balance family life with political activism and public representation. It is important that I have an insight to the everyday challenges faced by many families in this city. As a mother, for me, it's important to be with my children and to celebrate all of their milestones in life, whether that's in school or at play. It was a great honour to replace Martin McGuinness in the Assembly for this city. Deep in our memories is the day when Martin left his sickbed to call an end to the disrespect and arrogance of the DUP. Also embedded in all of our hearts is the day when Martin stood outside his house and told us all that his heart was broken. He told us all that his heart lies in the bog side. I'll always be very proud to be from the bog side. I've, I've, ended up in, I've ended up in many famous places throughout the world. Uh, the White House on countless occasions, the Oval Office on three occasions, with three American presidents, and with Prime Ministers and presidents all over the place. But my heart lies on the broad side and with the people of Derry. During the March election, Martin was with us every step of the way. And it was with great pride and encouragement that on the day of the results, having achieved the biggest ever Sinn Féin vote in this city, both myself and Raymond received a message from Fagra with a thumbs up on behalf of Martin. We, you, Martin, all as one created the space for this new era in politics. Martin McGuinness was a man whose focus was always on the future. He wanted to see this city and its people prosper. Look across the city, look across the north and see his legacy in our schools, in our health, infrastructure and in community facilities, in everyday life and in prosperity. A place where now our children can grow up without fear of conflict. The days of domination are gone. This is a new era in politics. This is the time for a new Ireland. There's no place for division, no place for borders, or no place for inequality. We need new voices. We need new leaders to shape this country. I can be that leader. Let me be that voice. I was delighted a few short weeks ago to be endorsed by Fikra, Philomena and Paul. Now play your part. On Thursday, come out 
and Vodal Sinn Féin.